anything. A railroad agent, an institute spy, or just a cold-blooded killer. I mean, look at me. I'm probably the last thing you expected. Who the hell are you? Where's Castle's daughter? The real Darcy? I don't know. Castle thought she was still alive, but the wastes have a way of making us all liars. Not dead or alive. We're all just fighting for their memory. And if you've taken a turn in the machine, you'd realize that a piece of them lives in all of us. Wait, I remember you. You were there when Castle uploaded his memories. And I'd be willing to bet you're the one doing the wipes. Guilty as charged. But be careful when you're telling up the score. The railroad might not come out ahead. We do what we have to. Sure you did. And we've both done enough to where we can't be allies. But we don't have to be enemies. You know what we're doing out there. You've seen it. Lived it. All that's left now is to decide. Draw your gun, and we fight. Leave, and we can get on with our work. Who are you people exactly? If you ran the memories, you probably saw me there. Back then, it was just the four of us. We have since expanded. Of course, we all have our reasons for joining this fight. Of all the people I met after turning ghoul, John was the only guy who stuck up for me, the only one who treated me like an equal. When I found out about his cause, I told him about the machine. With a few tweaks, we could make an army. All it takes is one turn in the wash. Johnny Boy does the rest. What are you planning on doing? Yeah, besides getting kids taken by slavers. That was a fuck up, no denying it. We were gonna save those kids and send them off to homesteads. But you guys got there first. The difference is, we would have been honest with the families and told them exactly who they were adopting. It was a lost opportunity to say the least. As for what happens next, it's more of the same. Only now we have the people to deliver the packages on our own. No more relying on outsiders. And what about Boxcar? And Chaplin? No one is forced to use the machine. They knew the dangers, just like your friend. The important thing is that they learn the truth. John's truth. All right. I'll leave. Good. We'll leave you alone. And you'll extend us the same courtesy. Hold on. If you guys are still adding synths, then we have a problem. You don't have to worry about that. We only integrate new synths. What Castle never figured out is, once you lie about who you are, it's already too late. Good. And another thing. The brainwashing machine gets shut down. If you're gonna recruit agents, you're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, it'll make things harder. But fine. No more machine. So, do we have a deal? Guess so. Glad that's settled. Truth is, trying to kill you is a waste of both our times. Not to mention detrimental to the cause. Because believe it or not, we're on the same side. Yeah, so you say. Well, I'm glad you're able to work out a deal. Granted, part of me wants to just shoot that asshole in the head. But as long as that machine gets shut down, it feels like the smart decision. Even if it isn't the right one. 
Are you sure? Are we ever? I'm about as sure about this as I am about Boston winning the next 10 World Series. Which means I'm more sure than usual. I guess what I'm saying is, what we're fighting for is bigger than all of us. If Castle's crew can do some good, well, letting them live isn't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> is anything in the Commonwealth ever? It's just one crappy choice after another. But as much as I want revenge for Box and Chaplin, this is bigger than them. And bigger than us. What happens now? We'll just have to hope this guy's learned from Castle's mistakes. I don't know if what they're doing is right. And I still think Boxcar and Chaplin's blood is on their hands. But what we're both fighting for, that's bigger than all of us. I don't have any regrets. I made the right choice. I don't know about that. Boxcar and Chaplin are dead. And just letting them get away with it doesn't sit well. But if there's one thing I've learned out there, it's that you gotta move forward. And what we're both fighting for, that's bigger than all of us. If Castle's crew can do some good, well, letting them live isn't the worst thing in the world. Still, I can't go over what Boxcar was saying when we found him. He said Darcy was here. As if he saw her. I wonder what he meant by that. But yeah, I'll go ahead and tell the higher-ups about the truce. And who knows? Maybe someday it'll be something more. Don't assume you lot have the high ground on ethics. We hear what you guys do out in the field. Hi. That machine and I go way back. You know where the door is? Ahem. Uh -huh. Huh? As for what happens next, it's more of the same. Only now we have the people to deliver the packages on our own. No more relying on outsiders. And what about Boxcar? And Chaplin? No one is forced to use the machine. They knew the dangers, just like your friend. The important thing is that they learn the truth. John's truth. This ends now. He's right. You kill Chaplin, Boxcar, and God knows how many people. We can't let you endanger anyone else. <laughs> well, I guess it's for the best. Truth is, if the wash didn't fix you, you're no good to me anyway. Let's go! Oh, no. <coughs> 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 Never easy. Ah! Ah! Go ahead. That should put an end to Castle, ghosts and all. Are you sure? Pretty sure. I guess there could be more stragglers out there, but we cut off the head of the snake. What happens now? First off, I'll have one of our tech people disable that machine. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Is anything in the Commonwealth ever? It's just one crappy choice after another. That's why I'm glad you're the one making them. Eh, it was a piece of cake. If you say so. I wasn't sure I'd be able to pull the trigger after watching those memories. And on top of that, now I have to get someone to unplug the machine. Part of me feels bad for doing it. Even now I still feel Castle's story needs to be told, just not in that way. Either way, I guess we're done here. Still, I can't get over what Boxcar was saying when we found him. He said Darcy was here, as if he saw her. I wonder what he meant by that. Got it. Holy crap. 
It's her, it's Darcy. She hasn't aged a day. He must have been using her to help control the others. It also explains why he bailed on all the other synths. And why so many of them were kids. He was after Darcy the whole time. Still not much of a talker, eh? Well, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. I never was good with kids. Luckily, this place is about the safest place to be in the meantime. I don't know about that. It's pretty secure. I mean, the only place safer is traveling with us, and it doesn't look like she wants to move. It might be good to give her some space for the time being. Good idea. Glad you think so. Because, judging by the way she's huddled up there, it might be our only option. When we get topside, I'll arrange for someone to pick her up and find her a home. I don't care. That's the hardest stone I've gotten so accustomed to ignoring. But in this case, I'm... actually glad. Because that's the last thing Castle would say. Safe to say, you're back to normal. Are you sure this is safe? Well, you can never be 100% sure, but she doesn't look like she wants to move. It might be good to give her some space for the time being. When we get topside, I'll arrange for someone to pick her up and find her a home. Of course, if that's really her and she's really a synth, it'd be best to find parents who won't freak out when she doesn't start getting older. Anyways, point is, she'll be in good hands. But if that pit boy's any indication, still have work to do. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Might want to hold your breath. Well, hello.